ladies and gentlemen, this is how the Par I program will be run. We'll be running four eight lap qualifying heat races. The top 16 will transfer straight to tonight's feature event. Then we'll be running one 12 lap feature where we'll transfer the top six. We'll have a 22 car starting field for tonight's 30 lap feature event. Here's how we'll line up heat race number one. Starting on the inside of row one, driving the old Z car. Out of Dallas, Texas, will be Johnny Murdoch. Alongside him, out of Owasso, Oklahoma. Driving car number 35, it'll be Matt Sherrill. Now row two, out of Wayne City, Illinois. Driving car 57D, it'll be Daniel Robinson. On the outside of row two, car number three in, out of New Berlin, Illinois, Jake Newman. Now your third row out of Billingham, Washington, driving to white number 17. It'll be Derek Homewood alongside him. Out of Guthrie, Oklahoma, car number 4M, Miss Michelle Decker. And riding at your field, driving the Ford-powered car number two out of Salem, Indiana, Seth Motzinger. Motzinger in car number two. That's how we'll line them up for your first eight-lap qualifying heat race. Here we go, Johnny Murdoch, Matt Sherrill, looking for Tim Brown's green flag. Out of turn four they come, green flag flies. Ladies and gentlemen, we are racing at Lucas Oil Speedway. And the high side, the supreme side, Matt Sherrill momentarily take the advantage. Here comes Daniel Robinson now in car number 57D. Down to the bottom, it's Daniel Robinson, your new leader. Matt Sherrill tucks into second. Jake, hello, Newman, racing into third spot, and we got one spun over in turn number two. The zero Z card of Johnny Murdoch spins it up in turn number two, and that will bring out our first caution of the night. Robinson, he was the 2005 Speedway Motors Micro Sprint Power Eye National Micro Sprint Champion. Moving up to the Midgets in 2006. Green flag is out, and it's race time here at Lucas Oil Speedway once again. Daniel Robinson takes the FSC chassis S-Linger powered Midget down to the bottom. Matt Sherrill, he likes the high side. Look at the move for Michelle Decker. She has got third, but sliding up. Michelle Decker now up into the third spot. What a move, but here comes Seth Botsinger down to the bottom. And the Ford Esslinger powered spike chassis midget. He will move to the high side. He will take over position number three. But what a move for Michelle Decker in car number four, threading the needle. Momentarily taking the third spot, but now she slips back to fourth. Daniel Robinson now stretching the advantage. On the second place car of Matt Sherrill. Six laps now completed. Next time by the white flag will fly. Seth Motzinger in the Ford Esslinger number two car, testing the groove up on the high side, doing a little test and tune out there right now. As the white flag flies, we got one lap to go. Ladies and gentlemen, out of turn four, here comes the winner of heat race number one. Daniel Robinson will win it. Daniel Robinson will take the win. Here now is your lineup for heat race number two. Starting on the inside of row one, driving car number 23 out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Miss Hannah Adair. Hannah Adair in car number 23. On the outside of the front row, driving car number 7S out of Springfield, Missouri, this is Corey Schutte. Corey Schutte in the 7S. Now the second row, starting on the inside, driving car number 22 out of St. Charles, Missouri. This is Andy Maupacker. 
Paul Parker in car number 22. Starting fourth, driving car number five deep, certainly hoping to have a better night tonight than he had last night. He is your current Lucas Oil Parra National Midget Champion out of Pocahontas, Illinois, the 5D of Zach Dom. Dom in the 5D. Now row three, starting on the inside, driving car number 7W. Also out of Springfield, Missouri, it'll be Chris Schutte. Chris Schutte in the 7W. On the outside of row three in the sixth starting position, driving car number 9P. He is your current Lucas Oil Par I Rookie of the Year, the 16-year-old driving sensation, Parker Price Miller. And rounding out your field, a fourth generation driver. Driving car number 37 tonight out of Springfield, Illinois, Corey Wyatt. Corey Wyatt in car number 37. That's how we'll line him up for heat race number two. Again, eight laps of racing. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Miss Hannah Adair, a graduate of the micro sprints, brings the field looking for the green. There it is. Here we go. Green flag flies. Zach Dom trying to get the Toyota power plant up in front, and he takes the point. Zach Dom out of Pocahontas, Illinois, your current Power Eye National driving champion. He will lead lap number one. Parker Price Miller racing into second position. Andy Ballpocker now rides in third. Fourth is Hannah Adair, and racing in fifth, that is the 7S of Corey Schutte. Zach Dom leads him down the back straight away. Here comes Parker Price Miller now. Parker Price Miller driving to Toyota Power. Spike Jassy, car number 9P, had a good run coming off the bank and could turn number two that time, but a little more horsepower possibly coming from the 5D of Zach Dom. Corey Wyatt now up in the, the top five. He takes the AJ Felker racing. FSC chassis midget up to fourth now. And Parker Price Miller reeling in your race leader, Zach Dom. But look at that Toyota horsepower kicking in down the back straight away. Great racing from third on back. This time by the white flag will come out next time by. Six laps are completed. The white flag coming out next time. Corey Wyatt has taken the A.J. Felker racing car number 37 up to third now. White flag is out one more time around. Out of the final corner, here comes your winner of heat race number two. It'll be Zach Dom. He'll get the win. Second goes to Parker Price Miller. Third, the Corey Wyatt. Finishing in fourth, Andy Ballpocker. And fifth goes to Corey Schutte. Ladies and gentlemen, driving the Dom Motorsports, Toyota. Dom Crop Insurance, Weld Racing, Toyota Powered, Eagle Chassis Midget. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of heat race number two. Make some noise for him out of Pocahontas. Number one, driving car number 11C out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. That will be Chet Gerke. Gerke in the 11C. Starting to go to the outside of the front row, driving car zero out of St. Louis, Missouri. That is Brian Reek. Reek in zero. Now your second row, starting to go to the inside, out of uh, Lebanon, Indiana, car number 39, Spencer Baston. Baston in 39. Starting fourth, driving car number 77K out of Moulton, Iowa. That is Caitlin Lear. Lear in the 77K. Now your third row, starting on the inside, driving car number 56, the great clip sponsored car. Out of Riverside, California, ladies and gentlemen, here's the Hawk, Darren Hagen. Hagen in 56. Starting sixth, driving car number seven out of Millstadt, Illinois. It'll be Austin Brown. Brown in car number seven and rounding out your field. Driving car number 56X out of Cheyenne, Wyoming, Mark Chesum. Chesum in car 56X. That's how we'll line them up for heat race 
number three. Chad Gerke had a good night last night down the Valley Speedway. He will set the pace slowly down the back straightaway. Six cars, eight laps, looking for Tim Brown's green flag. Out of turn four they come. Green flag flies, here we go. And it's Chet Gerke taking the initial lead. Look at Austin Brown. He was quickest in practice while ago. The Hawk, Darren Hagen, spreading his wings, flying to the high side. Darren Hagen has the Wilkie Pack, 5-6 Incorporated. Great Clips, number 56, right up on the berm, all the way around the Lucas Oil Speedway now. And we got a new leader, the Hawk, Darren Hagen, your new leader. But here comes Gerke once again. Chet Gerke, a good run off of turn two, closes up the distance. But the Hawk has the RPMs at the backs on the high side and pulls out about a five car length advantage on Chet Gerke. Austin Brown rides in second, or third rather. Spencer Baston riding in fourth. And Chris Chisholm, or Mark Chisholm rather, racing in fifth. Austin Brown now experimenting with that high groove through three and four. Now Gerke will take the purple and white. Fontana powered spike chassis midget up to the high side through three and four. The bottom side through one and two. The battle up in front. Darren Hagen continues to lead it. Chet Gerke racing in second. Austin Brown is third. Six laps are down. The white flag will fly next time by. There it is, white flag is out one more time around. And we got one slowing over in turn two. And the yellow will fly, yellow flag comes out. Brian Reek in car number zero comes to a stop over on the back straightaway. Out of turn four they come. And the Hawk dies down to the bottom, going to protect the lead. Green flag flies. Good battle for second and third. Chet Gerke, Austin Brown has battled the entire distance thus far. And Austin Brown now takes over position number two. As the white flag flies, we got one lap to go. And it's going to be the Hawk, Darren Hagen. He will get the win. Austin Brown comes across in second. Third is Chet Gerke. Coming across in fourth, Spencer Baston in 39. And finishing in fifth, Mark Chessa. He is your 2012 Lucas Oil Par I National Midget Champion. Out of Carl Junction, Missouri, it's Andrew Felker. Felker in the 11A. Starting on the outside of road number one out of Jinx, Oklahoma. Driving car number 14E, it'll be Eric Fenton. Fenton in the 14E. In the second row now, starting on the inside, driving car number 21H. Out of Owasso, Oklahoma, is Ty Holsey. Holsey in the 21H. In uh, the outside of row number two, out of Kansas, Illinois, had a third place finish last night at Valley Speedway. Driving to 5C, it'll be Colton Cotto. Now your third row, starting on the inside. He won here three years ago. Driving car number 25. Out of Mapleton, Illinois, Jake Blackhurst. And rounding out your field, rookie candidate out of Bethalto, Illinois. Driving car number 79J, it'll be Jacob Patton. Patton in the 79J. As they idle, down the back straightaway. Now the RPMs will start to mount. The orange cone in turn four. The hammer is down. The green flag will fly. Race time, heat race number four. And taking the early advantage. That is the 11A of Andrew Felker, but here comes your youngsters of the Par-I series. Jake Blackhurst in 25 
and Colton Cotto in the 5C. Blackhurst now will move up and take the second position. Colton Cotto, the full throttle, racing in third. Jacob Patton side by side now with Eric Fenton as they battle for fourth and fifth positions. Give the fourth spot now to Jacob Patton. There's two elements in racing. If you're second, you got to catch the leader. That's the first element. The second element, you got to pass him. Right now, the first element has been taken care of by Jacob Patton. He has caught your race leader, Andrew Felker. Now he's got to work on him and find a way around him. Three years ago, he was just a sophomore in high school. He won the feature race here, and he will be scored your leader that time by. But Felker comes right back at him once again. Here comes Blackhurst down the back straightaway. Felker goes high. Blackhurst in the middle of the racetrack is still Andrew Felker leading the way. This is good stuff. Colton Cotto testing the grounds up on the high side. This time by will complete lap number six. Next time by we'll see the white flag. Now Eric Fitton, Jacob Patton hooked up into a battle. That battle is for fourth and fifth. Give that lap to Eric Fenton. Fenton up to fourth, Patton slipping back to fifth. Here comes your race leaders. White flag is out. We got one lap to go. And Jacob Patton still holding on to that fourth position, but the battle is up front. Andrew Felker in the 11A. Look at Jake Blackhurst diving down to the bottom, momentarily taking the lead. A crossover move, give it to Andrew Felker. Coming across in fourth, Jacob Patton and fifth goes to Eric Fenton. Driving car number 5D out of Pocahontas, Illinois. It'll be Zach Dom, and for the second consecutive night in the row, your top point getter of the night, driving car number 56 out of Riverside, California, the Hawk, Darren Hagen. 30 laps of racing about to come at you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this time by, we want this massive grandstand. You race fans, stand to your feet. And wish these guys Godspeed for the next 30 green flag laps of racing. The most impressive sight of all of motorsports. Ladies and gentlemen, you wanted the best, forget the rest. You got the drivers, you got the stars of the Lucas Oil Par I National Midget Series. Oh, I love this place. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had to practice, we've had to qualify heat races, we've had the semi-feature. Coming at you in just a half a lap, 30 green flag laps of racing. The Hawk, Darren Hagen, setting the pace down the back straightaway into three alongside Zach Dom. Green flag is out, it's race time at Lucas Oil Speedway. And taking the early advantage, the Hawk, out of Riverside, California, Darren Hagen, he is your race leader. Tucking into the second position, Zach Dom in car number 5D. Already, drivers searching, trying to find the fastest way around. Darren Hagen continues to lead it. Parker Price Miller up into the second position. Zach Dom racing in third. Austin Brown is fourth. And it's Daniel Robinson now rounding out your top five.
It's still Darren Hagen leading the way. Parker Price Miller racing in the second position. Zach Dom is third. Here comes Austin Brown now, e car number seven. Austin Brown racing in fourth. Daniel Robinson rounding out your top five. Andrew Felker now racing in sixth. Seventh is Jake Blackhurst. Eighth is Seth Motzinger. And rounding out your top five, ten rather, that is Corey Wyatt, in car number 37. Darren Hagen driving the Wilkie Pack, 5-6 Racing Incorporated, and the yellow comes out. Spencer Basted in car number 39, loops his car over in turn number two. The Lucas Oil push truck going out to retrieve the number 39. Looks like he will be able to restart. He picked up his first win, his eighth career. RI victory at Valley Speedway, looking for a career win. Number nine, second of 2014. He picks him up in turn four. Green flag flies, and here we go. Here comes Andrew Felker on the backside, trying to make something happen off of that bottom groove. Look at Parker Price Miller working on Darren Hagen, trying to get to the inside. They bump a little bit. The youngster out of Kokomo, Indiana, putting the pressure on the veteran out of Riverside, California, Darren Hagen. Parker Price Miller, Zach Dom, Austin Brown, Daniel Robinson, and now Jake Blackhurst has joined that battle as well. Nine laps are down, working. The third of the way home next time by. It is still Darren Hagen leading the way. Zach Dom, Parker Price Miller, Austin Brown, and the 57 of Daniel Robinson. Looks like the low groove is so far the only groove that these drivers are working. Andrew Felker now up to seventh in car number 11. And we got one slowing down up in turn number four. And for the third time, the caution flag flies in this 30 lap event. Ladies and gentlemen, 11 laps are completed. 11 laps are down, up to schedule 30. Four from the halfway point. Picking it up over in turn number four. Here comes your leader. Green flag flies, it's race time once again. Parker Price Miller once again drawing a bead on Darren Hagen's rear bumper in car number 56. Looks like Andrew Felker, and we got one spun down in turn number four. This time, it's the number four car of Michelle Decker. Michelle Decker driving the Stephanie Metz racing car number four, spins it around. She comes to a stop on the bottom of turn number four. So the fourth caution flies here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, 11 laps are down. Getting a restart, working lap number 12 this time by. And a great start that time by Darren Hagen in car number 56. Parker Price Miller 
Daniel Robson up on the high side. Here comes Jake Blackhurst down on the bottom. Jake Blackhurst racing in the sixth position. Daniel Robson going to the top shelf to tech the real estate up on the high side. And it's coming in for him. Daniel Robson's tired of playing on the bottom. He moves the number 57 car up to the high side and he will take the fourth position now. Darren Hagen now stretches it about, about five car lengths down the back straightaway. Look at Daniel Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. He is making up some ground in car number 57. Now Austin Brown will try that high side as well. Great racing for fifth, sixth, and seventh. Andrew Felker now racing in the seventh position. Daniel Robinson and Austin Brown testing the real estate up on the high side. 16 laps are down. 14 to go in this 30 lap feature event. And Daniel Robinson and look at Daniel Robinson up on the high side making things come to life. Look at Robinson rim right up on the top. He goes from fourth up to second in that lap. Very fast, down the back straightaway. Daniel Robson looking for his second career. Lucas Oil, Parra National Midget victory here in Lucas Oil. Zach Dobb in the meantime, working on Parker Price Miller. He has got the second spot. Austin Brown up on the high side. He will take third from PPL. 19 laps are completed. Next time by, we'll have 10 to go. Daniel Robson is catching the leader. <laughs> Daniel Robson making things happen up on the top shelf. He is definitely cutting into your race leader. Look at Daniel Robson up on that top half. The lap car could be a factor in this one. Daniel Robson trying to work underneath the zero car of Johnny Murdoch now. But here comes Austin Brown, E. Carter. Look at Daniel Robinson threading the needle, sliding way up high in turn four. 22 laps are down. And we've got a new leader. Daniel Robinson now takes the lead in car 57D. Zach Dahl moving to the high side as well. Daniel Robinson, Zach Dom, Darren Hagen running one, two, and three. Parker Price Miller now racing into fourth position. Andrew Felker has moved up to fifth in car number 11. Whoa, tight racing over in turn number two. Darren Hagen, a big slide job on Zach Dom. That was a crash, ladies and gentlemen, that did not happen. How close can it be? Parker Price Miller has gotten around Darren Hagen now. Here comes Zach Dom. We got three laps to go, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Robinson out of Wayne City, Illinois, looking for his second career. Lucas Oil, Parai National Midget victory. Zach Dom diving down. Zach has seven career wins. He's looking for his first win of the 2014 season. White flag is out. Here we go, a battle for the win. 
Daniel Robinson, Zach Knopp, big slide job coming in turn three. He slides up. Here they come, and they bump, they crunch, and it's going to be Zach Dobb getting the win. Daniel Robinson in second, and it looked like Parker Price Miller taking third in car number 9P. Ladies and gentlemen, what a move by Zach Dom, taking the lead over in turn number four on the last lap. Well, all I can say, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't enjoy that one, something's wrong with your switch. Did you enjoy it? Awesome racing, Zach Dom. Picked up your seventh career. Car I victory, first of the 2014 season. Yeah, this is, uh, I've been uh, uh, after Kokomo a couple weeks ago. We, we were horrible, and I didn't know if I could drive or set up a car anymore or what. And I went all the way through the car, and, and we found some speed. We were really fast at Jacksonville. We were really fast at Macon. And uh, we just, uh, we've had some engine grim ones. And, uh, but uh, I mean, we broke the motor again last night and had issues with this one again. And, but, uh, you know, this was, this was important. A big, big step. You, you, you was coming in fourth, and it was pretty good. Close racing. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. I thought I did him dirty, you know, I'd give him the win, but, uh, you know, I don't think I did him dirty, and, uh, I mean, he turned it, he had an, obviously I didn't run over front end of him, because he couldn't turn it, and, uh, try to pump me in front of him, so, uh, you know, obviously it wasn't that dirty, but, uh, you know, we had a fun time, great race, and, uh, I mean, this looks like a, uh, stock car race out here, there's so many fans. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, let's let him hear you, Zach Dom gets his first win of the 2014 racing season. BPM, ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever made some noise, this kid has promised me all year that he would get on the podium. The first podium finish for Parker Price Miller. Make it special for him coming across the third, Parker Price Miller. All right, you're here, dude. Yeah, it was just uh, one heck of a night. Last night we were uh, going for the lead and up and uh, Motors and uh, oil on our backwards, so we put water in the oil. Got that changed and barely made it for hot laps. Just got to thank everybody uh, who helped make this possible today. And that, he uh, got off the motor change. And I'm talking to him for the win. Good job, Daniel, and uh, just proud to be here. Well, good start for the 2014 season. The rookie of the year last year, trying to improve on that this year. Yeah, uh, just going to run for points all year. Hopefully, we can uh, catch some points on Don. He's really good this year. And, uh, Hopefully we can get it done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's your third place finisher, Parker Price Miller. And we'll go down here to get a word with Daniel Robinson. All right, Daniel, second place finish, buddy. Yeah, we got the normal power I use, Zach Neal, and 30 slider. Yeah. I had two options. I could either get second or wreck this boat. That, uh, that's not my car, and I'm not going to wreck it. And my daddy ain't got six cars for me to drive. So I got what I got. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming across his best finish of 2014, give it up for Daniel Robinson. 